crinoids. There are currently around 600 different species of crinoids, which are closely related to sea stars, urchins, and cucumbers. But since their first emergence about 200 million years ago, there have been many more. They're found in a range of depths around coral reefs, and when they're adults, they exist in two forms. Some stay attached to the sea floor by a stalk and are called sea lilies, while others are free-floating in the water and are known as feather stars. Their mouths are on the outer surface and are surrounded by feathery feeding arms. These capture food and pass it towards the mouth opening, and are so crucial to their survival that they are able to regenerate them if they become damaged. Some species can grow as many as 150 arms, and if they become damaged they slowly grow back at a rate of around 1 mm per day. This regenerative property means it's impossible to know how long each individual has lived for, and it's quite possible that these are some of the oldest creatures on Earth.